Hey guys, my name is Leif McGinnis, and I have a Cavatar welding camera with me today. And I saw one of these cameras on Instagram. They had a video of it playing uh, welding in slow motion, and I thought it looked I thought it looked amazing. So I talked to them, and uh, they agreed to send one of, one to me to you know to evaluate. And one of the cool things about this camera is you can shoot video of welding without all the bright UV light shining at you, and you can you can very easily analyze a weld up close without all the blinding light that comes off of it. And I've been messing around here for the last couple days shooting video of uh, welding different materials. I mostly weld brass, so that's kind of one of the reasons they wanted to send it to me is to kind of see what it looks like uh, welding brass. Uh, but I did also weld some steel uh, and some other metals. And it's I find this to be very helpful as a teaching tool. Uh, at the industrial level, I think this would be very helpful if you're trying to analyze, you know, you know machinery, uh, you know, automated welding machine or something. You want to optimize it or make it more efficient, or you want to solve uh, problems uh, with your with your setup. Uh, I find it uh, very interesting to look at review my own welds on this and kind of look at it and kind of see, oh, that's what I was doing. You, you know. You never really get to see when you're welding. You know, you've got a hood on, you can see, but it's through this dark tint, so it's hard to see the detail. So I think it's really cool and helpful uh, for that purpose. You know, when I was teaching uh, at the college level, when, when I would teach classes, I would have them put on uh, a welding hood, and I would wear a welding hood, and I would weld, and I would say, okay, you know, watch what I'm doing, or they would weld, and I would watch them and try to give them information while they're welding, but uh, I think it would be really helpful uh, educationally to have one of these things. Uh, it would help uh, first-time welders understand exactly what, uh, what's happening, because it can be really confusing uh, and intimidating to a first-time welder, uh, and it's hard to, uh, to get going, uh, especially if you're, you know, you're TIG welding or stick welding. Here I am welding 16-gauge brass. I'm actually fusing it together and I figured this out uh, a couple of years ago and you know this took some time to figure out figure out how to fuse it together properly it's really easy to to you know to blow through and it's thin material uh, you know when you weld brass it blows off this toxic zinc oxide uh, smoke uh, but it's just kind of neat there if you just take a look you know like the, you can just see the zinc oxide erupting from it like a volcano so the way this works is, you see, I have a C-stand here, and I've got a little uh, uh, Noga arm here to kind of articulate it. And you can change the focal length if you want. I did change it, but I, f I found that it worked best for me at around, I don't know, eight or nine inches. So the camera itself is pretty small. It's like the pack size of a pack of cigarettes. And the way it works is it projects uh, light at 640 nanometer. It projects it out. It gets bounced off of... Uh, your workpiece and then it gets bounced back and there's a bandpass filter uh, inside of here. So that only allows in light uh, of that spectrum and it ignores everything else and then all that uh, video gets uh, passed through Ethernet over here and it goes into the computer and you can there's all sorts of settings you can change on here. You can change the shutter speed, the frame rate, the gain. There's all kinds of things that you can change on here and then you export your, your video file onto the desktop and then you can review it and, and look at it. Uh, but another thing I, I tried to do was just for fun is uh, connect an Oculus Quest to, uh, to the feed. And the way I did with that was I used virtual desktop and virtual desktop I had to download onto the computer and on the, on the Oculus and that allowed me to see the desktop and then the desktop had uh, the real-time image of the welding and then that allowed me to just to weld not even wearing a welding mask just wearing the oculus and that was very interesting to be able to weld in real time seeing this image of my of the welding and with no bright you know uv light coming out of there uh, that was uh, very interesting i don't know how practical it is i just thought it was a, a an, an unusual experience to, to to see that it's not something i've ever seen before so I've had a lot of fun playing around with this thing over the last couple days. And for me, the utility for this thing is as an educational tool. Uh, if I was 
still uh, working at a college teaching welding and I had access to one of these, I would absolutely use it because, you know, one of the challenges, you know, for a first time welder is, you know, getting them to have a, an idea of what is taking place at the weld site. Uh, you know, typically you're welding through a dark tent and it's hard to really see what's happening. And your only reference, your only frame of reference is you weld and then you look at it later and then, then you, ha then you understand. So everything is kind of removed from uh, uh, time. You know, it's, you look at it, you know, 30 seconds or a minute later and then try to remember how you, anyway, I, I think it would be a helpful educational tool. I've had fun playing around with it and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, thanks for watching.